So cold I can see my breath. Alright guys, welcome back to the Avalanche. Tonight I'm doing a test on my brand new antenna. I got a second one for another vehicle. It's the Tram 1180, 2 meter, 77 centimeter antenna. I'm going to compare it to my Larson 2070 that was tuned for four, uh, 440. It was a good antenna, but I wanted to see if I could get some better gain and better um, performance on the 2 meter band. So I'll be testing out with my Surecom SW102 meter, 102 meter. A lot of guys in the forums have been jumping on me for buying this saying that it's cheap Chinese crap and for 50 bucks I threw my money away. Um, what can I say? I, I spent the 50 bucks, it's all I have now, so I'm going to use it as my benchmark and hopefully it gets us a good ballpark. We'll jump on the 2 meter simplex. This was a little rough for me on the Larson, so we'll try it here and see what we get. KC1BXX listening. Okay, cool. So we're getting a 1.00 SWR, 30.7 uh, watts, so about 40 watts of outgoing power, zero return power. Um, if this is accurate, that's pretty good. That's perfect. I like to get that 50 watts that the radio says it broadcasts with, but we'll see what happens. I think it will give me that 50 watts on the um, 70 centimeter band. Here's 147.150 megahertz. KC1BXX listening. 1.02, uh, 40.7 watts, another good SWR, getting the repeater pretty good. There's another repeater at 147, KC1 BXX testing. 1.04, 40 watts, pretty consistent on that two meter band. Let me jump over to the 70 centimeter, see if it's any different. Here's my favorite repeater, 448.725. See what we get for an SWR, KC1 BXX testing. 45 watts, 1.04. Now that's a little bit less. When I was on my Larson, I was getting around 60 watts and we're getting 45 now, then the SRBR has increased just a bit. KC1BXX, uh, KC2WT, I believe was the last call sign. Alpha A, C2WT. Uh, yeah, just wanted to let you know that I was hearing you very well. Sounds good. Uh, this is Brian in Bristol, Kilo Charlie 1 Bravo X ray X ray, uh, testing out my new Tram 1180 antenna, comparing it to the Larson antenna I had before. Uh, looks like I'm losing a little bit of wattage with this one, but uh, how am I coming in? Am I sounding pretty clear? All right, great. Thank you for getting back to me. I'm just jumping around the frequency band, seeing uh, what kind of performance I'll get around the other uh, higher and lower frequencies. So I'm going to leave it to you, but uh, thank you very much. 73 KC1BXX, clear. All right, guys, so the Tram 1180 has been working really well. It's consistent across both bands in SWR and power output. Now, I'm not getting my 50, um, 50 watts of advertised power that this radio says it can handle, and I have sacrificed a little bit on the 70 centimeter band when compared to my Larson 270. However, the 2 meter band has jumped up substantially, and now I'm in that 40 watts plus, and it's very consistent. So I think I'm going to stick with this Tram for now, and we'll see what I'll do with the Larson because it's not a bad antenna and I know it's going to be good for other projects. Otherwise, my next video I'm going to work on programming this and showing you guys how to use the RT Systems um, uh, computer programmer as well as doing everything manually. But for now, I'll leave you guys to 73 because I'm going to start hamming.